Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today I did this super simple makeup look. I don't know what I should name this video because it's not really like my everyday makeup routine, but at the same time it's not nothing fancy. So I think this is just like a natural routine because I'm kind of just wearing natural makeup today. Um, but yes, if you guys want to see how I got this look, just keep on watching. So first things first, I'm just going to go ahead and start off by using my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. And I just like to add that all over my face. And then I like to just tap it all in and make sure it all sinks into my pores. Right after that, I like to go in with my Argan and Vitamin E Essential Oil. I like to put this all over my face so I get a nice healthy glow when I put on the rest of my makeup. I got this one at Marshalls. Marshalls is normally where I get all of my essential oils. But I just love the way it feels um, before my makeup. Next, I'm going to go ahead and go in with my Too Faced Born This Way foundation. This is in the shade Vanilla. You guys see this in all of my videos. This is like the only foundation I use. I'm really light right now, so this is the closest one to match me. Even still, I think it's a little too dark, but it works. So then I just like to really buff it in all over, so you'll see me going back and forth, constantly buffing it in. Make sure you guys don't forget that neck because no one wants a dark face and a light neck. So I always make sure to blend it down my longer neck. Next I'm going to go ahead and go in with my MAC concealer. I believe this is in the shade NC20. And then I just like to add that all over like my T-zone, under my eyes, my chin, and then my forehead. Usually I add it on my nose, but I didn't add it this time. And then I'm just going to take this little Real Techniques brush. You guys all know what it is. It's like that little three bundle it comes with. This is their contour brush, but I like to use it for blending out my um, concealer because it's a synthetic brush. So then I just go ahead and really buff that out. Once that's all buffed out, I like to go in with my CoverGirl Concealer. I think this is the Ready Set Gorgeous Concealer, and this is in the shade Fair. I also use this in all of my videos. I just put this under my eyes just to brighten it up a little bit. I don't want to put it anywhere else because I don't want to be too, too white. So then I just buff that out as well. Right after that, I like to use my e.l.f. blush brush and dip that into my RCMA No Color Powder. Um, I don't really like to bake anymore because I have combo skin and it gets really, really dry and cakey. So I just like to sweep that under my eyes just to get it a nice matte looking finish. Um, but not too matte. Next I like to go in with my Soap & Glory Kick-Ass Instant Retouch Powder and just add that all over my face um, where I didn't powder yet. So that would be like on my cheeks, on my chin, my nose, my forehead. And I just like to set the rest of the face. Same thing, I don't want it to be too cakey or too dry, so I just like to set it just a little bit. <laughs> I look so confused right here. My hair was getting too crazy. I was searching everywhere for my hair clip. So I just put my hair back because it was too much. Now I'm just going to go ahead and go with my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. And I'm going to use that middle warm shade and add that onto the sides of my cheek. I'm not really focusing on blending it out. Right now I'm just focusing on getting the product there. This palette can be a little harsh if you don't know how to use it. So I just like to add some product onto the sides of my cheeks and then later I'm gonna go in and buff it out. So like I said earlier to buff out my contour, I'm gonna use my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer in the shade Light. This is going to help me diffuse the harshness of the Kat Von D contour one because like I said that one's really really harsh and can be a bit muddy. So the butter bronzer is super like it's like orangey and glowy and light so it's just going to help diffuse it and make it all look a bit more natural and um, pretty looking. I don't know it's just so pretty. Now to contour my nose. 
nerves with the now to contour my nose I'm gonna use my makeup forever pro fusion bronzer I'm not sure what shade this is in like since the day I bought it there was never a shade name on it so I don't know if they're all like that or what but I have no idea what this shade is but I just like to use that to contour my nose because it's like a cool tone brown but not too cool tone so then I like to go back in with my RCMA no color powder on a little like makeup sponge that you get in like Sephora or Ulta and I like to use that to clean up the sides of my nose contour just like you would clean up the sides of your cheek contour it's like the exact same thing so I just like to use that And then I'm going to go in with the one and only Luminoso blush by Milani. This blush is gorgeous. You need it. Oh, I also use this Morphe angled synthetic brush. I got it in a bundle, so it doesn't have a name. But this was my first time using a synthetic brush for my blush. And it came out so beautiful. Like, towards the end, when I'm done putting on my blush, you're going to see how healthy and glowy I look. Like, it just came out so beautiful and buttery. So, I would recommend for you guys to try putting on blush with a synthetic brush. Like, this came out so beautiful. So then, just to wipe off my nose bake, I like to go in with my Claire's Flat Kabuki brush. Yes, I do use Claire's brushes. I actually used to really, really love them. So, yeah. And then, just like I said earlier, similar to the nose bake, I'm just going to go ahead and clean up the contour on our cheeks. And I just like to use that with the opposite why can't I talk I just like to use that with the opposite side of that little sponge you can get like at Sephora or Ulta and yeah so as far as an intense eye makeup look I'm gonna skip out on eyeshadow because I just got my lashes done this day which is yesterday because I'm doing this voiceover today so I'm just gonna go ahead and put on some concealer just to get rid of my veiny eyelids and then I like to use a little flat synthetic brush and then just put that all over my eyelids and yeah oh I also almost forgot to mention shout out to my cousin Acacia for doing my lashes if you're in the Monterey area hit her up she does microblading eyelashes and makeup oh my god look at Joe in the background he was literally sleeping on the side of my bed because he didn't want to be in my video like I tried to force him to come up on my bed and he was like no yeah, oh my god, Joe's so crazy. Look at him. Oh my goodness. But yeah, so I'm just still blending that out. And then... Oh, hi, Ashley. Nice. Okay, bye. Okay, so same thing with the nose bake. Just using my Claire's flat kabuki brush just to wipe away that bakeage. Hello, guys. Welcome back. Now I'm just going to go in with this Claire's Eye Glitz palette. Um, my, it's my little sister. She bought it and I thought it was the prettiest thing ever. So I took over it It's just like a literally like an eye glitz. It's just glitter that you put on your eyes and it's so pretty So I didn't want to leave my eyelids too plain So I decided just to add a little bit of glitter right now It looks all weird and chunky, but I promise you like it was so pretty in person And then I even I think I even used flash. Yep There's the flash to show you guys how pretty it is like It is so pretty Best thing I ever stole from Ashley. So I forgot to mention earlier, but I already had my eye eyebrows filled in. I used my Morphe Brow 8 palette, and I actually used a darker shade. And then right now I'm just going ahead and setting them with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. You guys know the deal. Yeah. So of course I'm going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit, the Sugar Glow Kit palette. It is so gorgeous. I'm using the shade Marshmallow. And I'm just going to add that to my cheekbones. And then I literally drenched myself in highlighter. But there's a limit, you guys. There's a limit on too much highlighter. And I don't like to go overboard. So then I just like to add that to my nose. I also like to add that into my inner corners. And then I'll add it to my brow bone. And then my chin. And the tops of my brows um, the arch of my brows on top what is that like your temples or something I don't know I I just love a good glow but not too much glow you know what I'm saying so just nice and glowy skin and yeah
And now I'm just going in lining my lips with my MAC lip liner in the shade Spice. So I literally just line my lips. I always smack my lips together. I don't know why. And yeah. My lip liner got a little messy. So now I'm just cleaning that up. And then I realized it was a bit too dark for me. I didn't want it that dark. So then I just wiped it off in the back of my hand. And I went in with my Victoria's Secret gloss in the shade or style or whatever. Taffy Go Lucky. Tastes so bomb. It looks like I'm smelling my finger right here. But I was adding some highlighter on the top of my Cupid's bow. I promise. And then that is it. And then now I'm just doing some awkward modeling. <laughs> Joe was recording me and he was making me laugh. And yeah. And then here's my outfit of the day. You guys probably saw that on the gram. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. Please make sure to hit that subscribe button. It really helps. Shy. But honestly, I really do appreciate it. Those who do care to watch my videos. <laughs> Perfect. Hey guys. I need hey guys. Hey guys. I don't know how to say it. What's up guys? <laughs> Sit down. <laughs>